Psychics, mystics, and other people with supernatural powers have been documented around the world throughout history. Alaric Romain was one such man. Active during the first half of the 20th century, this is the tale of one of the most mysterious people, not just in Liverpool, but in the entire UK. So who was Alaric Romain? In the early 1920s and 30s, a very strange man named Alaric Romain lived at number 16 Rodney Street in Liverpool. At that time, the city newspaper The Liverpool Echo listed Mr. Romain as a private detective who gets results. Romain himself was something of a mystery. He was described as being of foreign appearance, possibly Hungarian. He also said that he had the ability to read minds, and also possessed other unorthodox abilities, such as the ability to receive psychic impressions from objects left at the scene of crimes. One story of Mr. Romain using his powers to solve a crime began when a Mr. Ling from the Chinatown area of Liverpool visited Romain and said that someone had been stealing from his home. Mr. Ling could not go to the police as he kept large amounts of opium in his property. Romain visited the scene of the crime and was able to pick up a psychic trail which eventually led to Mr. Ling's brother-in-law. Initially, Mr. Ling, who was furious, called Romain a charlatan. Still, Romain urged Mr. Ling to check the basement of the house. And sure enough, in a safe in the basement, Mr. Ling found his stolen opium as well as other valuable items taken from his home. Other strange tales about the mysterious Romain have been documented, including in the early 1930s an incident in which Romain, allegedly with the help of Liverpool police, captured a zombie, led it to the Prince's Dock mortuary on the Liverpool Dock. Romain then reportedly filled the zombie's mouth with salt and then stitched it shut and had the corpse interred in a specially designed grave in Toxteth Park Cemetery. Allegedly, there was a midnight burial in, that did indeed take place in the area at that time, adding some truth to this tale. The fact that this guy basically took care of a zombie like it was nothing and just buried it in a public park is quite terrifying, actually. <laughs> However, one of the most interesting tales of Alaric Remain comes from the outbreak of World War II. In 1939, upon the outbreak of the war, Romain was summoned to Whitechapel in London to help the British government fight the Nazis in a secret government operation known as Green Mirror, where Romain, as well as other well-known psychics such as musical conjurer Jasper Maskelyne, hit tanks, armies, and even an entire harbour from German troops. A few more things Romain and the others did to aid the war effort included somehow creating images of British warships in the English Channel and making Alexandria Harbour in Egypt completely disappear. They did this by simply having the harbour turn off all of its lights and then recreated the light pattern of the harbour in the desert. Around these lights, Romain had explosive charges placed around. When German bombers saw that the harbour was further west than they expected, they made for the illusion, to which Romain's explosives detonated to make the German planes think that they were hitting ships and cargo. During this, Alexandria Harbour was not harmed at all. So that's the story of the mysterious Alaric Romain. It really speaks to the mystery of this guy that there's so little information and no pictures of him that I could find at all. He is the definition of a true enigma. Apparently, the British government held files on the Operation Green Mirror uh, from World War II, which were made available in 2021. So if anyone's interested, you could probably get a hold of some more information about the mysterious Mr. Romain if you can. Um, this has been the Spooky Corner. Um, this has been one of my favourite things to talk about so far just because there's so little information about it um, it just makes the mystery of the whole thing so much more interesting to me but that is the story of Alaric Romain I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time